Hey guys, thanks for coming back for another What Sold video. It is Thursday, April 16th, and Kathy's going to go through What Sold for us this past day. So, here she is. Hey everyone, we'll start with eBay again today. First up, a pair of Vans, Women's, Star. Um, I had these on eBay for about a month now. They just ended like two days ago. Well, I've been ending listings after a month and then relisting as sell similar and then changing up a couple details. So these just got relisted a couple days ago. Um, they were listed at, I believe, $39.95 with free shipping. I changed them to $39.95 plus shipping, but I added best offer. I saw someone was watching them, so I sent them an offer of $29.95, and then they also paid the shipping. So basically, I got what I wanted out of them. Um, so yeah, just change things up if stuff's not moving. Uh, next up, this just sold about an hour ago. This is my personal shirt. It's like a... It's Levi's, but it's also NFL Broncos branded. Um, just a Levi's flannel shirt. I think I picked that up at Marshall's for like 20. I sold it on eBay for $29.95 with free shipping. So making most of my money back there. And these are Piper Finn uh, little Oxford shoes. These sold on eBay. Someone who's watching them, I sent them an offer of $16.95 plus shipping and they accepted. Had about four dollars into those and these are a pair of my own shorts again uh, just air apostle air apostle i don't know how you say that um i got these from goodwill so i probably had maybe five dollars into them they sold for 14.95 plus shipping right, this was my son's shirt the brand is jean and june it's Probably nothing you'll ever find at a thrift store, but I found this one on Kitizen as part of a bundle that I bought from another mom. And I had $8 into this. I sold it for $17.95 with free shipping after my son wore it a few times. Um, that one is like organic, so a lot of organic kids clothes sell for higher prices. So if you ever just see anything and it's organic, most likely look it up. It's probably worth more than you think it would be. Um, next is baby seaweed saltwater sandals. These sold for $22.95 plus shipping, which was my list price. I did have a little bit more into these. I bought these online like this week and just listed them. So I did pay $10 for these, but basically doubled my money within a week. And I know that these sell fast, so I was okay with doing that. I normally don't spend $10 on shoes to just sell for $20, but sometimes you just do... What you gotta do we're getting bored <laughs> yeah <laughs> so next up a pair of freshly picked moccasins i'm sure you've seen these in one of my other videos uh, these sold for 20.95 with free shipping i picked these up for two dollars and this one i've already sealed it because i just wanted to make sure it was nestled in there good enough but it's um starbucks pumpkin spice latte tumbler cup maybe not tumbler like a hot cup i don't know the hot cups are called tumblers anyways you'll see it on the screen but sold for 11.95 plus eight dollars shipping this was a gift so i didn't pay anything for it so all profit there all right so that's all the ebay no poshmark sales again two days in a row i don't share my closet like you should share your closet if you want to make daily sales i list stuff if it sells it sells i'm not too worried about sharing my closet unless i'm like desperate for sales so I am not at this time, so I haven't shared it. So I have two Mercari sales. Um, first up, this again, my son's shirt. Uh, it's just Carter's brand. It's like a Halloween shirt. And it sold for $8 plus shipping. I bought it for $8 to begin with, so making most of my money back on that. This is a pair of Patagonia mittens. These sold on Mercari for an offer this morning of $17 plus the shipping. Um, I think I had about $7 into these. I'll pay up for Patagonia stuff even though it's okay Like if I make even 5 bucks because it always sells. Patagonia is a great brand people are always looking for, so it brings traction to my shop. So that is those. 
And last four are from Kittizen. Um, you saw these in my video yesterday. These, the same shorts, but a different size. So I had a pair for each kid, deciding to sell them before they wear them and ruin them. Um, so these ones sold for $33.50 with free shipping. So again, my sun shirt. Uh, this is just Quicksilver flannel. This one sold, I had it listed for like 17, I think it, I sent the buyer an offer for 14.75 and they accepted that. I don't remember what I paid for that. I, I know I bought it at like the Dillard's discount store. So probably no more than like $10. So probably made most of my money back on that one. Uh, this is a Matilda Jane tank top. It sold for a list price of 17.95 with free shipping. And I had $2 into that one. Alright, so last up is a bundle, uh, four items, all my son's pants. Uh, two of them are childhoods. Um, these are the maps, and these are the trees. Um, and these are a pair of Zara pants, and last ones are just Cat and Jack Target pants. Um, this uh, Last night I had my shop discount on 20% off too. Um, if you watched any of my other videos, I say I like to switch up my shop discount every day. Um, so yeah, 20% off two plus. So they got 20% off. So they paid for four pants, $78.80. These are just under a pound. So I paid $5.75 for the shipping label. After fees, I'm getting back about $63. So I probably paid over $63 for these to begin with. But getting $63 back on four pairs of kids' pants is really good in my opinion. So that is that. And those are our sales for today. All right. Hey, thanks again for watching, uh, tuning in today. Um, you know, I'm looking out the window. It's snowing right now, and I thought it was supposed to be spring, so I just want to get outside. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and package these up, take them off to the post office. Um, if you do have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Please give us a thumbs up. It does help us. If nothing else, it motivates us to make more videos. And we did hit 100 subscribers yesterday, I think. And we want to thank all of you guys for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so that you can continue to see these kind of videos in the future. And we are working at this moment on our uh, how to do Kitizen video videos. There might be a couple of them. So tune into those. And we hope to see you guys tomorrow with another What's Old video. Have a good one, guys. All right, guys. Hey, we had another sale come in as we were packaging up uh, today's sales. So what are they? We're going to go ahead and pack them up right now. There's some shoes. Uh, they're Nike. They are on the top shelf. Uh, oh, little top silver shelf. ones up there. These pink ones? Yeah. All right. So these Nike shoes. So basically, I'm going into eBay. Um, the sale is right here. So I'm going to click on print shipping label. To weigh the shoes, they are 2.03 before adding a box. So always make sure you add in the amount of the box. I keep most of my boxes right here. Try for a shoe box. Hopefully they fit in there. So this is the dimensions are on the USPS boxes, so that's always nice. So this is. 15 by 8 by 6. I'm rounding up. Um, I might put 2 pounds. I need to do 3 pounds. Um, and you'll notice if you ever are on eBay. So if I did 2 pounds. Okay, so 2 pounds is 9.69. If you do 2 pounds, 1 ounce. It goes up to the next thing. So you don't really need to do the ounces, at least on eBay. Like, basically, two pounds is going to be one price, and then the next step up is going to be three pounds. So just go up to the yeah, just go up round to the, up next the nearest pound. pound. So you can see now I'm doing three pounds, updating it, and it's still going to be eleven seventy nine. So yeah, and I charge the buyer ten fifty for shipping. Uh, I've had a lot of people asking me about how much, how do I do shipping. I kind of have an idea it's going to be somewhere between like eight to twelve dollars so i just put it what i think it might be it really just depends where the buyer lives and you don't know that until they buy so 
Um, this person lives in Pennsylvania, which is far from Colorado, so it's going to be more than if they lived in Colorado, California, somewhere close by. So, um, we charge them ten fifty, so I'm just covering an additional dollar twenty nine out of pocket, and I'm totally fine with that. I know that will happen, and other times I charge them a dollar more than I need to, so I feel it all. Oh, it just evens out. All right, so we're gonna package that up, take it along with these pack these sales, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.